Hello friends, the 591st day of the war between Russia and Ukraine continue. The general staff report in the morning that the Ukrainian armed forces had partial success north of Kopani and Novoprokopivka in the Melitopol sector. Kopani is located northwest of Robotene. The attack there is aimed at expanding the flanks while moving south towards Takmak. At the same time, the mention of advancement north of Prokopivka suggests that there are probably no battles in the village itself, as a number of military telegram channels previously claimed. The Russians are attacking northeast of Novoprokopivka, the general staff adds in its morning report. The Ukrainian telegram channel Deep State reports that the enemy is rotating and replenishing units that are suffering heavy losses due to constant attempts to attack our position. The situation is very difficult and dynamic. In three sections of the segments the defense forces were successful, in one the enemy was successful. In general, the situation does not change fundamentally. Friends, before continuing, I would like to draw your attention to the young channel of Maria Vishunova. She posts daily videos with map reviews and the latest news about the war in Ukraine. Let's support Maria and help her develop her channel. In Novoprokopivka, the enemy suffered heavy losses as a result of the work of our artillery. The Russians are actively trying to seize the initiative in Bakhmut and Zaporizhia sector of the front. Despite significant human resource and the high intensity of attempts to advance, the enemy has not had significant success right deep state. My friends, the robot will continue. Commander-in-Chief Zaluzhny, together with Chief of the General Staff Sheptala, visited Ukrainian units fighting on the front line. Judging by the video that Zaluzhny publishes, they visited units of the Tavria Group, which are fighting in the direction of the main attack in the offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces on the Zaporizhia front. We analyzed probable threats from the enemy and determined further actions taking into account the constant change in the operational situation at the front, Zaluzhny wrote. The General Staff reports partial success of the Ukrainian armed forces east of Andreevka near Bakhmut. At the same time, according to the department, Russians attacked the village from the south. The Ukrainian telegram channel of the military stationed at the Bakhmut site says that the Russians have introduced additional reserves. With this they were able to stop our movement for now, but we are holding our assigned positions behind the railway, writes the Bakhmutsky demon. The Ukrainian side also reports that the enemy tried to restore lost positions north of Kurtyumivka and north of Klishchiivka. According to preliminary data, all attempts were unsuccessful. In the Kharkiv direction, the Russians have been trying to advance towards the Oskil River for several days in a row. The general staff today reports unsuccessful attacks in the Sinkivka area in the Kupiansk sector and in the Makivka area in the Laman sector. The Ukrainian telegram channel Deep State writes that the enemy launched a massive offensive from Laman Pershi and Orlyanka, but surprisingly did not achieve success. Instead, the assault actions of the Russian 25th Army led to enemy advances in the northeast of Makievka, and fighting continues east of the village. Despite the successes, the enemy is losing a lot of equipment there. Meanwhile, at the Russian front, missiles began to appear that could target distances of up to 100 to 120 kilometers. Russian telegram channels began to publish more videos of such hits on Ukrainian forces and trains. Russian media claim that the attacks are carried out from Tornado S launchers. Operators of multiple launch rocket systems state on camera that they can use them to finish off the MRs. An example is given of an attack on a railway station, which was carried out from a distance of 75 kilometers. Even before the war, the Russians began to develop new, more accurate and long-range 300mm missiles. Apparently, this work has been accelerated, although this has not been officially announced. 
The fact of increasing the accuracy and range of Russian rocket artillery is also noted by Ukrainian telegram channels. The unpleasant thing is that the number of attacks on us far beyond the line of contact is growing. This is due to the modernization of firepower and reconnaissance means, writes the military telegram channel Deep State. Build military analyst Julian Ropk also writes that, according to his data, the Russians are using new missiles with a detachable high-explosive fragmentation warhead, and guidance is carried out using GLONASS. Thanks to satellite guidance, such weapons have high accuracy and a range of up to 120 kilometers. According to Ropk, the Russians have used Tornado S in Ukraine before, but extremely rarely due to a lack of ammunition. Now they have managed to establish large-scale production of new missiles. Friends, considering what is happening in my country, this channel is now my only source of income. If you are able to support me financially, I will be very grateful. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.